Well, hello, dear people. It's going to be a one year update video on uh, Betty, the little van that I bought. So far, so good. 90% of it. It's a diesel, 3500. It's got uh, some windows and a high roof, which makes it special. Got some lights that I managed to get working. Electrical outlets outside that I have not yet got working, but more on the electrics of it real soon. Tinted the windows, so that's pretty chill because because of that stealthy vibe. It's a long wheelbase too, so makes it a bit more interesting than like the little shorty ones that finish like here. And yeah, man. So I got it detailed myself, clay wax, paint retouch, the whole shebang. It's already kind of repainted when I got her, but uh, yeah. And graded the lights because the other lights were total, total crap. It's got some uh, American racing wheels. Still, I guess, period correct. And sliding door, which is chill too. So that's kind of like the outside. Pretty clean altogether. Got a max fan on the roof. Let me show you the inside. We'll get a bit more interesting since we build it all ourselves. My girlfriend and I. So this is the setup. Let me show you around. Close this. So here we have a sink and kind of like a working space that even has its own light controlled by a switch here. So what's cool about this sink is it's kind of slim, low profile. <laughs> yeah, no, this is how we work the sink. Got a little space here for a foot pump. You put your foot in here, then you open this up, and you pump. Since I uh, installed it, it gives a nice, nice little flow. So then you ask what happens with the water? Well, it stays here until I can empty it with a... Just kidding. I <laughs> know uh, what happens is there's a bucket. And the bucket actually has a little valve and if I was to turn this valve it would go down there where you cannot see it with the light right now but what I do have here sorry is kind of like a hose it untwists and becomes my drainage hose so that's this thing portion of it where did I get the water from? This side. So I got two jugs. Six gallons each, I believe. Yeah. So I just switch around the flow. Made the hoses kind of longer so they don't kink. And that way they retain more water. Here I have a portable little water that I had before the setup. So I figured it fits perfectly. <laughs> I might keep it because sometimes I want water outside that is not as hot as hot as the water inside. Speaking of hot. Speaking of hot, here we have a max fan. It's pretty cool because this one you can open it in a way that you can use it in the rain because it got a cover. Which you cannot see too well, but it's covered up. And got more cool in here. set up mm. Mm. no coolant yet Did I plug this correctly ah. <laughs> so yeah this ones are a bit more noisy but installed in front of a window do a good job <clears throat> speaking of power I got everything wired in here 
there no more fun uh, also I got neon light which came here so I just rewired it with the battery and those lights on the outside I got controls for those bad boys too here I just use like a little USB dongle to know the power speaking of power it comes through here right now I don't have solar so what I do is I charge off my alternator basically I got a switch here turns on the battery takes the house and disconnects it so whenever I'm driving I find that it charges sufficiently and actually pretty good at just gotta like drive 10 15 minutes and i got like a nice boost where do i need this battery well for the fan and this thing so that's pretty chill because you notice we reused the counter <laughs> actually we got this counter for free <laughs> uh, a lot of stuff we salvaged so yeah we built it ourselves and uh yeah so we just took the bottom of this counter that was left over and we made a base for the fridge that slides out such so this is a bit chill because you get access to the fridge it's not plugged in now and when you're driving well it's not just sliding around because you got it here it's a alpicool 55 liter fridge so far happy it's got a nice amount of space in it Got Bluetooth controls too, so you could like check it out on your smartphone. And <laughs> I hope we don't change fridges because we kind of custom made this thing to the fridge, but uh, it's like 350 bucks Canadian at Princess Auto, so I think that's a good deal in case it craps out. I just have to find another one. Uh, here we have the stove situation. This one I've had for a while, so I just kind of integrated in there, but it doesn't fit inside the van. So for inside the van, I got this guy. So Martin A. One of these thingies. This one fits inside the van in case it's like really raining and I don't want to cook outside. And it kind of fits nicely in there too. By the way, all these things, they kind of clip in, so I don't have to worry about those. Speaking of clipping in, I got the same concept on the drawers. So they don't slide out on their own unless I'm drifting. And I try not to drift this van too much. So yeah, this is the pantry section of it. You get the idea. It's got uh, all the pots and pans and some food we like to keep on hand to accompany all the fresh ones got some storage over here for fans and random miscellaneous stuff and usually we put our clothes in the boxes here sometimes in backpacks got a nice little coat rack too a little organizer we picked up for from ikea on the cheap you can have like a Hanger of sorts. Uh, as far as the bed, yeah, the bed. Cool. This is the bed. <laughs> uh, it actually fits me. Like, I'm five six and I can stretch out. My girlfriend too, so we're good. Got a little uh, cozy light set up here. Doo -doo -doo. So when it's dark, I don't want to attract too much attention with neons and whatnot. I go with these guys. And the bed, going back to this. What we did, we basically like found the mattress. I think I'm like, oh my. And it's memory foam. It's about say, six inches about here. It's pretty comfy. We cut it up, uh, but it's like almost a queen-ish. <laughs> uh, but we're good. I mean, we fit, can't, uh, can't complain. Or else I would have done like that. If I was taller, probably I'd have a different setup. And uh, yeah, so this is the sticker bombing situation. It's a work in the progress, as you may see, but uh, it's pretty chill nonetheless. And this window opens as well, just I don't have a, what you call it, a moustiquaire. Uh, 
since I have a uh, fly net over here and I also have like an old window over here that I could crack open if I wanted to gives me a little bit more air and front pretty standard stuff I mean you got your cup holders got everything I'll show you the starting procedure on this Says wait to start. And that's how we start her up. It's got that particular diesel sound about it. That's about it. We got more storage here. Got our. Uh, <laughs> mosquito net and their temperature in the sun which is kind of hot 38 it says yeah so I think I'm gonna crack some windows open and put the fan on thank you all for watching if you have any questions or comments make sure to leave them and uh, yeah thanks for watching once again and I hope to see you soon